undercover officer being brutally beaten by his own colleagues because they forgot he was undercover. Put up the picture for a mask. This man has now been granted $23.5 million because of police misconduct. In an update, Mr. Luther Hall, a former St. Louis police officer who was beaten by his own colleagues while he was working undercover during a protest in 2017, was just awarded $23.5 million by a judge with millions watching and many people benefiting from this program called Indisputable. We just need 1% of the viewers to become a paid member so we can continue to bring this content to you. Now back to the show. Hall was beaten by three white police officers. These are his colleagues beating him here with the St. Louis Police Department. This was during a protest, September 17th, 2017. After a jury acquitted former St. Louis officer Jason Stockley of the murder charges he faced in the fatal shooting of a black man, Anthony Lamar Smith in 2011. He was walking back to police headquarters when the group of uniformed officers stopped him. Now, you got to think about the irony of this. He's walking back to the police precinct. He's walking back to his job. They encountered him, okay? Told him to get on the ground and then started beating him. He, Hall claimed he was beaten like Rodney King. A black man who was jumped by a group of Los Angeles Police Department officers in 1991 after a high speed chase. Hall was kicked in the face, which injured his jaw and left him unable to eat for a time. He also suffered a tailbone injury and had to undergo surgery to repair herniated disc in his neck and in his back. He also developed um, gallstone complications, which required multiple surgeries as well. Put him up. There they are, his colleagues. Randy Hayes, Dustin Boone, Christopher Myers, alleging they beat him because they thought he was a protester. What, what, wait a minute, why are we being protesters? It's nothing illegal about being a protester, all right? So they beat him because they thought he was a protester and then naturally they tried to cover it up. This week's award is the result of a default judgment granted against Hayes when he failed to answer the suit. Hall's claims against Boone and Myers are still being litigated. The other two officers charged in the case were Bailey Coletta and Stephen Court. Coletta pleaded guilty in 2021 to lying to a federal grand jury about what she saw during the attack and was sentenced to three years probation. Court was acquitted that same year after being accused of a civil rights violation and lying to the FBI. St. Louis Circuit Judge Joseph White awarded Hall 10 million in punitive, 11 million for past and future physical and emotional pain, and 2 million for lost wages. April 15th, St. Louis Public Radio reported another 600,000 was given to Hall for lost, delayed retirement, insurance benefits, and past and future medical expenses. He said during an interview that he gave the officer, this was after. He's healed, he's now able to talk about it. He said the protest had actually ended. You gotta catch that in his interview. He said the protest had ended and he was proceeding to the precinct. Protest is done, he's an undercover officer. He's there not to find protesters, to find crime, criminals. And he literally said during the interview, after the protest, there's another group of individuals who decided to start destroying property. He made it very clear, it had nothing to do with the protest. These are not protesters that we are tracking. These are simply individuals who are destroying property after the protest has ended. But the officers decided to simply single him out, beat him without provocation. And now this is just the tip of the iceberg as far as how much money is going to be paid out. Here we go again, um, if he wasn't a cop, if he was not undercover, this would be brushed under the rug as we know. Yasmin thoughts here, the irony of it, that they beat up one of their own colleagues because they mistook him for a regular ass black man. Yeah, 
Yeah, in a nation where police brutality, specifically against Black people, is so rampant, one of the solutions to that problem is to have more Black people on police forces. Hopefully, the idea is that it will ameliorate some of those instances. But even as you try to be one of them, and even if as you you know try to play nice with people, some people will always see you a certain way, and they will always treat you a certain way, especially when they're not fearful of consequences for doing so. And why would they be? They're used to treating black people poorly, and they're used to getting away with it. These cops also don't seem to be very bright, just like the other cop that we talked about earlier on the show, because their explanation that they thought the guy was a protester, that also made no sense. The protester wasn't even actively protesting at the time. He wasn't being violent, he was just walking. So I'm glad that this cop is speaking out and I'm glad that there was some kind of restitution. But you are absolutely right. If he was not a cop, if he was just some any other guy, any other black man, we wouldn't be talking about this. Yeah, and you have to imagine if they decided to just pull him to the side and beat him up for walking. They did it to other people during those days of protest. And this had become so routine that they didn't think a second about doing it to another person. Um, So I I would never believe that that this was the only time they did it. And it just happened to be an undercover cop that received the beating. 